Hey everybody, managed to pick me up another little lawn tractor here. This one's pretty odd. So some you'll see that it's yellow. Now one of the coolest things you'll notice about this one is it's a uh, early 1964 23D engine. You got the early decals on it. As far as I can tell on back here, because you can still faintly see it. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up in camera. I think it's 1128 is what pulls up what you see there stamped into it. It's 1128 or 1123 or 6. But it's very faint. Now what makes it odd, it's got part of the high-low on it. It's missing the lever and the actual mechanism in between it. So if anybody has that and would like to part with it, please let me know. Other thing that actually parked this tractor about 20 years ago is that right there, that axle tube. As you can tell, it's busted all in half. Don't worry, I got like five other tractors I can pull a hole rear, and I'll just sandblast it and we'll put it back together on this one. We have the mule drive. We got a tiller. Snowblower. Not know if we're going to use that very much here in North Carolina. A deck. A push plow. And we got that little stinger weight that goes in the back, which is kind of weird. Because as you can tell, this is a hydro lift tractor, which is pretty weird. I don't know if I've ever seen a 64 with a hydro lift, but pretty cool. Now, I do have it hooked up to this other little can, just so I have something I can move it or start it up with. I want to see if it run. From the story goes, this thing had sat for about 20 years, I believe, since it's been busted. He, he The guy had it before me. He did a lot of tilling with it and ended up busting that tube and then it's kind of been parked. But what's really cool, I have not even rebuilt the carburetor on it. Let's see if it starts. Double gearbox has got a little bit of play in it, but once again, what I'm going to do is split the back, put another one in it. I don't think I can complain with that. I still need to take carburetor apart and probably clean it. It looks like it runs over a little bit if you let it sit, so tank's got to be taken apart clean. And even better, the lift works. I need to keep an eye out for a grill too. If I can find that original material, that mesh aluminum, and do that. Take it apart, sandblast it, probably automotive urethane paint on it. But I can't argue that. That runs really, really well. Not that I need more of these, but it's okay. But this is the earliest one that I've had, I think, that's... Oh, I had a B1 at one time, but it was so hodgepodge and yeah, I couldn't have fixed it. Not unless you threw a lot of money in and bought a whole other part tractor. But the oil looks good in it. It runs. It doesn't even smoke, really. It's got a little bit of gas. And like I said, it's probably because the carburetor is slightly running over as it runs. But it's just... It's so weird. It might be... Oh. Hold on, turn the motor back. That generator is a little weak, though. I'll take it apart and then go through it, at least. Yeah, it, it might be. Yeah, but other than that, and it could make help clean the terminal and stuff. But you see it fires right up and runs. They get taken apart and completely fixed. 
guess I'll be keeping an eye out for the high-low stuff, the grill, the odds and ends, put cool tires on it. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned. You'll see more cool stuff with this. I have gotten all my other tractors back going, too. So I got a 2012, uh, several 2012s. That's my favorite model. I've got probably four or five of them ranging with different equipment from a tiller to the, you know, blade. The scrape blade goes in the center. I got another one up there with a mowing deck on it. I got 2010. And I got the 3212V that I mow with. So a lot more coming.